Hello everybody, it's Scribs. Welcome back to a new video. I'm glad to see you all here. Please like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications for more videos like this. And so I can keep going in my journey. Today we are going to be taking my characters and turning them into trolls. So I have a pretty big obsession with the trolls universe. And after watching trolls band together, I decided I wanted to draw my characters as if they were in the Trolls universe. I think the most interesting thing about the series is the continuous lore that's built, the different characters that exist, and the use of colors in the their designs. Also, when I was little, I knew about Trolls dolls, but I didn't really like them. Like That wasn't something I wanted in my doll collection. The first thing I decided to do to get into this character design was decide which string my trolls would belong to. Then from there I picked which characters I would want to draw and I also made up a reference board so I would know how to draw each character. I decided to draw my characters Dante and Chloe, so a pop troll and a rock troll. And then in the end, I ended up adding a country troll as well. I also wanted to do a classical troll for Theo, but I didn't end up doing it. I've been doing all these interesting projects and everything, and I keep forgetting that I need to finish my character profile still. So I'm hoping that something I'll finish um, this weekend, and then I can finally move on to more developing of my comic and everything. But for now, I'm having fun doing these challenges and seeing how much of my style can like change. It doesn't actually seem to be as rigid and um, doomed as I think it is. Yeah, I guess. Um, one thing I really felt like not doing, like normally I think I flip my canvas a lot more, but I didn't do it for this one. I was just like, let me use these references and let me draw it. I think it was the hardest part was trying to draw clothes on the trolls due to their different proportions. Their legs are like really long and their torsos, torsos are really short. And yeah, I feel like it was hard to draw it on the country troll especially. I decided to use Vincent as the country troll reference. Vincent is a character I really love. She's very heavily influenced by the 50s and 60s because that is the era she grows up in. And then also I feel like her vibe is just, I don't know, like that's the aesthetic that she's drawn as. Doing the rock troll was hard because I think Dante tends to wear more baggy stuff, but when I tried to do it for this, it was looking like not correct. It wasn't, um, I feel like it looked like a dress on him and that's not, what I was going for it at all but it's okay because I figured out his outfit in the end. I'm actually really proud of all these drawings that I did and I'm excited for next week's challenge where I'm going to I think finally draw my characters in like Disney style. I really want to try the 3D Disney style because I know it's very similar but I think I like the proportions for a lot of it so I might um try that. So I have my visref pulled up to the side as my references for the rock trolls, the pop trolls, and everything else as well. I find drawing with references these days is making a lot of things much easier. Like I would always say, oh, use references, but I think like constantly using them, no matter what I'm drawing, is making things a lot better for me. I feel a lot more confident in what I'm doing. And it also made me realize that like doing these experiments is not as hard or as daunting as I thought they were. Um, because I, I don't know, I felt like it was something I wasn't capable of at first, but now that I made, now that I've done it, I feel like I could do it all the time, kind of, I guess, if that makes sense. As you guys know, my goal for this, or maybe you guys don't, I've been wanting to do a live stream and talk about what my goals are for the, my new sketchbook and just overall for this year as an artist. I'm trying to focus more on just expanding my knowledge, my library, and continuing to be confident that I will improve in my art in some ways, even though I've been having a difficult time and worried about my and been worried about my success and all these things. I do have like 
a hard time staying confident in myself when I'm I'm seemingly failing at all the things I'm doing. But at the same time, I'm also trying to remember that no road is going to be extremely smooth. And so now I'm trying to do a new strategy, sort of, where I talk and draw about things I'm interested in because I'm really interested in the Trolls franchise. I've uh, watched all of the movies and I watched Athena P's video on it because I love like like the lore of videos that people do often. So I also did watch that and um, uh, I also was thinking like when I do these videos about things that I'm more interested in, maybe that can also appeal to other people more and not just talk about my original characters, even though I've been talking about them very briefly and not that much. I don't know if you guys are personally interested in seeing more about my original characters. I'm actually not that sure what you guys are interested in. Um, so of course, feel free to tell me uh, what you would like to see more of or what you would like to see me do at all, you know? I've done something different, I think. I've created this pack of brushes and they're not line art, they're actually pencil brushes. And I wanna share them all with you soon, but I'm not sure I'm ready yet to release everything. I'm also thinking about where to share my platform because I don't think I'm gonna be using Kofi anymore. No, sorry, not Kofi. I don't think I'm gonna be using Etsy anymore. I don't know if I feel comfortable with that platform. I've wanted, I've barely promoted, that's the other thing, like promoting my stuff has been very, awkward for me i don't know it's i feel like i need a coach but then it's like to also pay for a coach i don't have that type of money so yeah i feel like i need a something like that uh just to help me along a little bit i'm trying to find my own voice and how to balance what i think other people would be interested in versus what i'm interested in at the same time as remembering that I'm doing this because I love it and it's been so fun like going outside and drawing is one of my favorite things to do. I'm actually really like I really love um, going to the cafe and doing these cafe sketches. I've been doing them a little bit um, ever since I've go started going to the dentist more. There's like a cafe right at the end of the street where I go to the dentist and it's really fun to draw in that cafe because I feel like I'm living my life as one of those girlies who vlogs and shows like this ideal fantasized life and obviously I fantasy life and I obviously know they don't live like that every day but that's what they vlog so and I don't do digital art outside as much because I would have to charge it but it's a great way for me to draw traditionally more I do want to try to draw people in the cafe at some point I watch um, some artists who do that sometimes and I think like it's so admirable and um, I'm honestly a little scared to do that <laughs> so I'm always like wow you're so brave I think I would like freak out about like staring at somebody and maybe making them feel self-conscious and like already I think I can only feel comfortable with filming in public because I feel like it's the age of influencers and I look like young enough that that might be <laughs> that that could be me you know what I mean like they wouldn't be questioning it as much like I feel like recording people before was a little bit more you had to be on edge about it yeah but I'm excited for warmer warmer weather weather so I could hopefully do that I don't have much to say about my process I realized maybe I don't have much to say these days about my process not sure why but yeah I just copied the reference and tried my best I was actually a little bit lazy about doing the feet. It also made me realize I do need to practice drawing feet. But other than that, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm hoping you guys enjoyed watching this video. This mix of real-time footage versus um, iPad speed paint footage. Like not, And that's not screen recording. Thank you so much for watching. Please, again, like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Share with a friend. Do what you can. We are on the road to a thousand subscribers. So if you could help me out in any way, thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Bye.